It's such a nice day, St. Patrick's Day. It's nice. It's sunny. Cody's playing ball with the house. The house is winning. Who's out on the run is Coco. She's always having fun as Coco. Her adventures big and small. She will take us through all the crazy adventures of Coco. So where do you want the clover? Do you want it on this side of your head? <coughs> okay, I'm gonna try to make a clover on her head, like a four. Well, it'll be a three-leaf clover. We'll see what happens. I'm well, sure there's trying. probably a YouTube video about it, but I don't know where it would be. So on YouTube. <laughs> wow, you're funny. I know. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah. And me and Dad are going to be playing poker. Okay, let's see. That was a really bad. I think most everything I do, I just make it up as I go along. Yeah. Mom. What? Would an ace be one? An ace is one, yes. Ow! It's okay. Two. So I'm going to pop this one right two. here. So basically, I'm going to make three ponytails, and I'm going to make them be hearts, hey. leaves of the clover. So I need to go oh. this way. Let's do. I don't know, but this is bothering. Well, it won't be like that forever. Just hold still. What do you do if you got two pairs each? The, whoever has the highest. Three. So yours, you have sixes and fours. Mm -hmm. So forget about that one. And you have threes and tens, so his highest pair is higher than your highest pair. Oh, okay. Yeah, barely. Uh, sorry. So, push the hair through, grab it, and pull it through. So this one, I'm going to pull it a little bit. It'll go that direction. And then this last part... We'll go to the back. Just gonna grab it with that little finger and pull it through. Okay. Okay, Mom, we have a question. Okay. Got a Jack, Queen, King, Ace, but I would have needed a 10 to have anything, right? Yes, that's nothing. Well, in Yahtzee, it's a small straight, but that's nothing. But we both have nothing, so then we just... So then whoever has the so highest nothing. So king. An ace eight. is higher. Oh. Mine is a ten. You divide it into two pieces. Each one of those pieces you split in half. If you've never done this twist, I'm probably not the best to explain it. There's probably a YouTube video for it. But you take two twists. You twist them both the same direction. It doesn't make sense. Don't worry if you don't get it. I don't get it. Twist so. them both the same direction till you get a lot twisted. And then you're going to cross them over the opposite direction. So you've got them both twisted the same direction and then you just cross them back over. You know who would be able to show this really good? Mm. Um, the cute hair with Emmy or Emma or whatever. We'll put a link down there. She does has an Instagram and she does a lot of this twist braid. So maybe she can make a video, but so you just twist them. I was going for a flush, but I didn't get it. I got a pair of jacks. She beat me. Until you get down towards the bottom, and then you'll put your hair tie on. But you just want to keep twisting them the same direction. Both strands are twisted the same direction, and then you cross them over. That's the only way I know how to describe it. And then when you get to the bottom. We put another clear hair tie on. So then you're going to do that little twist. So there'll be one, two on each pony. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these twists finished. If the hair starts to dry, you want to wet it. I got nothing. So I got in. nothing. King is my highest card. Fine. But aren't we supposed to do the highest nothing, Mom? You Okay, if well, nothing, nobody you don't have anything, me. so your highest card is a nine. Yeah. And his is a king. Oh, well, then what was it when you said, if you don't have uh, your highest nothing? 
was that for? Mm. The same thing I just said. If, no, if you, nobody has a pair, card. then the highest card would be the highest card in your hand against the highest card in the other person's hand. Okay. <coughs> Gosh! There's no coughing allowed. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have to be the pair team. I don't know how you guys have played this and don't know how to play. Because we concerned. never play this. Pair of nines. Two pairs. Nice. You have two to be pairs. two pairs. So Queen. then, once you've yeah. got all your twists, <laughs> then you're going to bring it around. Ten. So this Queen. is going to come like this into a little heart, like clover, kind of. That's mm. my goal. I don't know how well this is going to work out, but we're doing it. Okay. I'm going to put this one about the same. These two will come around this way. Does that beat that? Yes. Okay. Seven, four beats a seven. So I have to have a seven and above a four? Seven and anything but above a four, yes. So you beat it. The nine. It's higher than a seven. Nine. Now we're just going to attach nine. it all you together. To and connect all these. I've never done this before. Did I ever say that yet? I've never made a clover yet until today. So... We'll wiggle and pull until we get it to look the way we want it, and then we're going to pin it in place. She didn't want me to dye her hair green. So she's going to let me put this clover in it. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it looks good. If you need a seven, I will trade a seven for an eight. Okay, I don't have a seven. I don't need a seven. I need an eight. Oh, that's too bad. He's so rude. Two pair aces and eight. I should play Yahtzee. We could play we Yahtzee could later. later. Yeah. Do you ever just like like to um, organize cards? Because I do. <laughs> so cute. Probably been better if she just let me dye her hair green, but let's go check it out. All right, so got it kind of pulled a little more angled. There you go. I think we're going to put it in a ponytail and see how that looks with it all just to one side. I don't know. Maybe we started too high, but either way, it's a cute hairstyle. <laughs> Maybe it's not a clover, but it is what it is. If you know how to make a clover with hair, comment down below. Yep. What game are you playing? In the middle of the two windows? Nope. <laughs> Your dad can hit it. Oh, so close. Whoever hits it first gets to pick dessert. The wind's against you. Nope, not quite. Nope. I think dad's going to hit it first. Oh, so close. Don't give up, honey. That was the closest I got. You're, you're up high enough, you just got to go over a little count for the wind blow. No! Oh! Come on, Cody. Not quite. Oh, you went, you went over the house. Oh, thank goodness it didn't go in the neighbors. <laughs> Don't give up. Uh, it, it from where I see it. It didn't touch us. <laughs> yes! 
to the touch? He's like, dang it. So close. You're so close. Come on. I know you can do it. <laughs> Sometimes you're so close, and other times it's like, nope. <laughs> yep, he hit the base of it. Yes! Dad's like, I picked dessert. It's impossible. Winner, winner. Dessert's your choice. Yeah. Do you know what you're picking, or are you thinking on it? Probably those. Ice cream sandwich bits we have in that one. Oh, yeah. I wanted to. Cody wanted to pick. Oh, well, she didn't get it up high enough. What would you have picked? What would you have picked? Shakes from Burger Bar. No, we're not going out. We got to have what's here. I can make a shake. We got milk and ice cream, but we're not going out. Okay. <laughs> he throws it backwards and it hits it. Earlier, the sun was reflecting off that onto her face and it made her look like she had a green beard. Let me see your shirt say Lucky Charm. Charm, another Lucky. Cool. Dad's in charge of dinner tonight and he decided we are grilling. So we're going to have some yummy hot dogs. I'm super excited. It's such a nice day, St. Patrick's Day. It's nice. It's sunny. Cody's playing ball with the house. The house is winning. It's going to be such a good dinner. What do you eat for St. Patrick's Day? Hot dogs. Hot dogs? I know some people eat corned beef and cabbage, but I've never been a fan of that, so we never make that. Got it. There he is. I want it. Gotta move the briquettes so we can start cooking. So excited! We're gonna be grilling these yummy dogs I got for a quarter. And then we got cheese dogs for Coco without the jalapeno because she doesn't like jalapeno even though she likes spicy stuff. Go figure. He's gone. Coming back around to see if you're leaving the cookies alone. He just wants the cookies. <laughs> he really wants those cookies. Do you have to put on brakes or do you think they just drop? <laughs> they just glide. Ooh, those are looking good. Which ones are mine? The smaller ones, so we don't need to They're separate shorter. them. Yours are shorter. I didn't realize they were shorter at first. Looking good. My grill gravy. <laughs> Perfect day for going. Look, it's a beautiful sunny day. Yeah. You know how money burns a hole in your pocket? Well, yeah. These, these hot dogs was burning a hole in our fridge. <laughs> you just wanted a hot dog. Mm -hmm. Well, it was a good so choice. Good. Because they look and smell amazing. I'm excited to have dinner. Mm -hmm. It's like listen. You want to play Yahtzee and watch a movie? I like listen to it while we play Yahtzee. Mm -hmm. You don't need two different things to stimulate your mind. I do. <laughs> I really like those twists. They look golden. They look like rope. Look at that. My that hair is rope. It's super cool. The, the clovers didn't turn out as well as I thought See, they were going to. 
Yahtzee. Are Yahtzee. you kidding me? On your first roll? Heck yeah. Hey, this ain't One so roll. bad. <laughs> Five twos. It's your turn. Okay. Go. Did you roll a Yahtzee too? No. You rolled three threes. Is this the Yahtzee time? Let me move these out of your way. Oh my gosh. If you roll one more three, it's going to be a Yahtzee too. Oh man. But I can take so close. Okay, my turn. What are you? Did I get a Yahtzee? Some ones no. And sixes. We'll take the sixes. Come on, three more sixes. Two one more. One more. I need two more. Two more. Okay. You got one more, so I'll do 27 on four of the hands.